and one of the six lawmakers working with the vice president on the deal on debt. No easy task there, but nice to see you, Congressman. Good to be with you. Uh, this federal workers' pension situation, uh, there's two different sides of that story today. One is the fact that we're borrowing from this pension system to help fund our government. Right. But there's also these reports that there's a differing points of view about what federal workers should contribute to their pensions. Republicans, the Debt Commission, even Democratic think tanks say we have to have federal workers contribute more. Are you open to negotiations on that, to having federal workers contribute more to their pensions to help solve the debt issue? Well, let's be clear. The Republican budget uh, proposed essentially a 5% pay cut uh, for federal employees, for everybody, including the folks at the CIA that just helped crack down uh, bin Laden. So, no, I'm definitely not uh, in favor of that. Now, if you want to look prospectively for new federal employees, uh, we can take a look at that employment system. But when you talk about remember, there are lots of pieces to it. There are salaries and there are other benefits. And the Bureau of Labor Statistics has looked at the federal salaries and said that in many, many cases, they're actually paid less than their private sector counterparts. So we have to be very careful when we're dealing with overall compensation. I packages. was looking to see the last time that we looked at federal workers' pensions, mm -hmm. and it was in 2000 where there was an increase to their, their federal pension programs by 0.15% or so. So you're saying for any of the federal workers now, you don't want to touch that, but any future employees, you'd be open to, to renegotiating how much they contribute to their pensions? Well, I think we should take a fresh look at overall uh, federal employee compensation. There may be some areas where you actually want to increase salaries to recruit certain types of people to the federal government. You can also look at the retirement package as part of an overall look. I think that makes sense, a fresh look. What doesn't make sense <laughs> is to say to folks who have been relying on a per particular salary and benefit structure, like the guys who got sure. bin Laden, you know, sorry, tough luck, uh, we're going to cut your salary across the board by 5%. That's not fair. What about taxes? Are taxes going up as part of any sort of deal that's made as, as far as spending cuts go? Well, every bipartisan group that's looked at the deficit situation has said you need a balanced approach. Yes, you need to cut, but you also need to deal with the revenue side. And there are all sorts of special interest loopholes in the tax code that can be eliminated. That's what the Simpson-Bowles Commission said. That's what the Rivlin Dominici Commission said. So. For example, we don't need to be providing the big oil companies with the subsidies lots of people are talking about. If you're serious about reducing the deficit, why would you be asking taxpayers to shell out more money to the big oil companies? So, so we, we need a balanced approach. Tax loopholes you're talking about for, for major corporations. What about tax loopholes supposedly for, for consumers or for just your average, your average Joe? Well, I think you've got to look at the overall tax code. You've got to look at the rates, and you also have to look at the deductions as well as tax preferences and see what makes sense. But whenever you're talking about deficit reduction most people who have looked at it say you can't do it all by just cuts you can't end the medicare sure. guarantee as the republican budget does and slash you need you need to look at both sides of the equation congressman you know we've had the debt commission we've talked a lot about the gang of six as well the senators coming together to try to have a proposal as well now we have you guys uh the, the seven of you with the vice president why is it different with you why why should we have hope that you guys are going to reach a deal and we're not going to go past the debt ceiling, that we're not going to default on our debt, that we're actually going to cut spending and get our country back on track. Well, uh, we, we, we can only hope. And those around the table, Are you Republicans, I think we're going to get somewhere. It's early in the process. I don't want to be overly confident. We've been focused primarily on the areas of overlap, so we haven't gotten into the sort of politically nuclear issues. Like entitlements. But, but yeah, we haven't gotten there, but we, we've begun to branch out into some other. Uh, more controversial areas. But again, at the end of the day, we got to get to the question you raised. Are our Republican colleagues willing to do a balanced approach that includes getting rid of some of these big tax subsidies? All right, we'll see uh, where it goes from here. Congressman, nice to have you on set. Good to be with you. Set. Good it's to be with nice you in studio. Yeah. Really good.